VIP Kid is an online education company matching Chinese students with teachers in North America. It has been valued at more than one and a half billion dollars after a funding round from investors including Tencent and Sequoia Capital China. I spoke with VIP Kid CEO Cindy Me and asked about the company's rapid growth since it was founded four years ago. We have uh, over uh, 200,000 students and also over 20,000 teachers given a very short amount of time. And also um, we'll be uh, having a, a revenue of 750 million U.S. for 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, on a day of uh, August 31st, uh, we saw a revenue of 9.95 million U.S. per so day. So where are the students, where are the teachers? The students are uh, mostly in China, and uh, but we do have 2% of students coming from out of China learning with our English immersion program VIP Kid, but then we launched uh, Lingo Bus uh, a couple weeks ago, teaching uh, uh, kids around the globe to learn Mandarin. And then our first student come from Japan. Now we have over a few hundred students are learning on our platform. So now you have uh, teachers in China teaching Mandarin to students around the world. Yes, we're and we're connecting the world. So uh, talk to me about why online education seems to have taken off in China more than it has here in the U.S. and, and in other places around the world. Why well, do you think that is? I would say the growth factor contributes to a few reasons. One, uh, the demographic reasons. Uh, the parents are big in learning English and uh, having children know about the world. So uh, it is a, a 15 billion U.S. dollar market by size and it's growing by 20 percent per year contributing by our 18 million newborn babies every year right so and secondly um, since uh, the market demand is huge the supply is limited we only have over 27,000 uh, North American teachers in China mm -hmm. so on VIP kid alone, we probably have more teachers than we do in the country. So parents love high quality teaching. They are willing to invest in this sector. So we're seeing at around 10% penetration of online learning to the existing brick and mortar learning market. And it's growing really fast. Some of the skeptics say that online education is still going to remain an overall small part of the, the, the total industry. Do you agree with that? Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that because it, for the past two years, uh, the last we talked, it's 2% online penetration for uh, China K-12 online English learning for kids. But this year, it will be close to 10%. And 10% is number of what uh, e-commerce takes over uh, uh, retail market, uh, given the 20 trillion US dollar market. So education, since its nature, is all delivered online, so knowledge sharing, so um, the uh, penetration will be possibly way higher than what it happens to retail. So how much aspects. higher than 10% do you think it could be? No, 30, 40% mm -hmm. anywhere because this can be really uh, ubiquitous because um, of the nature of the service. You're just connecting all these disfranchised, dislocated uh, learners and teachers across the globe and this is beautiful. And do you think it's something that will work best with foreign languages, or do you see this working across all disciplines? I think this will work across all disciplines. We're already seeing a, a lot of adults learning online on uh, uh, platforms like Coursera, Udacity, mm -hmm. Udemy, and now with uh, the possibility of building a K-12 knowledge graph across mm -hmm. the globe for all the students, then you see all the kids using uh, all these tools, starting from their were the little, and then they're learning with VIP Kid not only for English language learning, but also content-based learning, curriculum-based math, science, and everything. Everything else.